Question for all you guys as we approach the last regular season game. Does it feel like this has gone so fast? It feel <clears> like you just got here? I'll go first. All right. Uh, yeah, I think the season has gone by fast. I mean, it feels like yesterday I was just getting here in the summer, starting to work out with the guys. But at the same time, it's been kind of long as far as the, the stress on the body and stuff like that. But, you know, I think it's been a great experience for me at least. Yeah, no, I mean, I, re I remember coming here in the summer and, you know, doing summer workouts and stuff and just barely getting to know all the guys. Um, so, I mean, it goes by fast, but every every year it goes by faster and faster. It's just kind of it's kind of crazy to think about. Yeah, I mean, it's, I feel the same way, you know, in one respect, you know, it kind of feels like we just got here. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, it's been a long season as well. So um, it kind of feels like it's been both. For any of you guys, the, this season, you've kind of got to experience a little bit of everything. I mean, you know, failure and success and all. Like, what has that aspect <laughs> of this year been like, kind of getting to experience, like, the whole gambit of emotions coming here? Uh, for me, I think, I think it's been a good experience just because, like you said, we have experienced pretty much everything this season. We've experienced a losing streak. We've experienced a winning streak. We've experienced... Games where we play really well, games where we play really bad. Um, so I think it's definitely prepared us for moving forward, especially as we go into the Big East tournament. Um, and obviously the goal is to make the NCAA tournament. And so I think as long as we can get that goal achieved, all of it will be worth it. There's definitely been um, ups and downs, and it's kind of it's a good learning experience to be, kind of see like what, what we're doing when things are going well and what we, we're not doing when things aren't going well. So you can definitely <coughs> learn a lot from it. I think they said it well. <laughs> Zach, we've never really asked this, or at least I haven't heard, but this raise the roof thing that you do, <laughs> where did it start and why Why that? First of all, it's been a trend coming back for all of basketball now this year. I was about to say, I claim give it. the credit. I, no. I saw on Bleach Report, uh, Kat, Carl Anthony Towns did in the NBA, and they're like, oh, I guess we're bringing it back. He's like, man, I've been doing it all year. No, I have a buddy of mine. <laughs> I have a buddy of mine that was like super cheesy. He's like, dude, you should totally raise the roof when you dunk it. I'm like, no, that sounds so stupid. And I did it one time. We got a huge reaction. I'm like, all right, let's do this. So it's just kind of been a fun thing. When did you start? When was the first time? It was like, it was really only halfway through the season. Like, cause I, I was not doing it at all. And he, he kept saying it to me. I'm like, dude, this sounds so cheesy. Like, that's not, that's like a 90s movie. Like, it's not good. But no, it's pretty, it's been fun. So you, th you think it, you thought it was kind of a gag too, I thought to start it was with. like, I thought it was like, oh, whatever. That's, that's super lame. And then, yeah, <laughs> it ended up being fun and people really enjoyed it. So. You guys, Kyle or Ryan, do you have anything you want to do in your last game like that to kind of have people really remember you? Hand motion or gesture? Nah, not for me. I just <laughs> I just want to get the win so we could try to lock up that third seed um, in the Big East. Um, yeah, that would be the best experience for me just to end my last game in Centos with a win. Yeah, no, no hand gesture motions for me. Zach, um, we leave that to Zach. Yeah, that's, I do Even when these guys hit threes, I still do like I do three because I, I don't shoot threes, so I don't get to do any like, <laughs> blow out the guns or anything like that. So I still do it even when they hit threes. I just do it anyways. I blow when when I throw it to Welly, I blow bubbles with a three. Like I saw that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, sorry. Speaking of threes, I know that at the beginning of the season, Tyreek had the green light to shoot threes. He has not shot a three in a game yet. Do you foresee him shooting a three in a game before the season ends? <laughs> I actually just talked to Steele about this <laughs> at the radio show. Last night. <laughs> yes. Um, he, because uh, I showed, I don't know how it happened, but on the stat sheet, I haven't attempted three officially as a stat. I've not, I haven't shot a three. But I've he shot has two jump been. shots and yeah. airballed one of them. Um, <laughs> so we started talking with Steele. I started talking with Steele, and he uh, he said, didn't Tyree shoot a three? I'm like, you know, I no. think he did. He shot one in the Ohio State scrimmage. Scrimmage, okay. Uh, airballed it. And did not shoot another one. <laughs> I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think Tyree's going to shoot a three. Not that he can't, but... I feel like if he was going to, he would have already shot one this season. I, I think our bread and butter is getting in the getting paint. Getting in the post, and, yeah. And, you know, just our system, our system doesn't really have me and Tyreek on the perimeter that often. Even when we are, we have a plan to get back, back in the inside, post, back yeah. inside. And we're very, I mean, we're opportunistic. We definitely try to find Ryan as much as we can. Najee takes some pretty good threes, and we play inside out. And so once we get inside, there's not really the opportunity. What if you're up by 40 points? If I'm, I'm about 40 and I have a wide open three, I'm taking that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> <That's right. laughs> So, St. John's second time in three games. You know, obviously last game you guys won pretty big. Is there anything you take away from that game you're going to try to do again? Do you switch the game plan up a little bit? What you got, Willie? I mean, for the most part, you know, we're going to stick to what we did. Um, you know, we're making a few tweaks, but, I mean, St. John's really isn't going to change. You know, they are who they are. Um, you know, Shamori Ponds is, you know, the guy that are going to run a million high ball screens for him um, and so we're really just going to you know what we think what we did the first game worked pretty well um, obviously we know they're going to make some adjustments and um, so we're tweaking a few things but overall I think our game plan is going to be pretty much um, pretty similar. You mentioned Pons is that kind of where, he, where you feel like he is the hardest to guard coming off screens do you feel he's a tough guy face up guard as well? Yeah definitely I mean he's they you know he's the most dangerous in the middle of the floor with the pick and roll ball screen um, where he can just, you know, carve you up. He's a really good passer. Um, the first at the beginning of the game, actually, um, he made a couple elite um, cross court passes just on a line to uh, Marvin Clark, who hit both threes. And then we actually um, went zone after that. So he couldn't, um, so he couldn't, you know, use that. And um, it actually worked really well. Um, so that, that'll probably be something we do um, similarly to game two, where we play a lot of zone. The biggest point of emphasis is just knowing that they're going to come in here with their best shot. You know, we're, we're both on the bubble. We're both, I mean, trying to trying to clinch a, a good seed in the Big East tournament. So this is going to be it's a really important game. We got to play like it. Yep. So Zach, and watching a replay of the last game, you were playing really well. I think you scored the last basket that Xavier was leading against Butler, and then you came out of the game for eight minutes, came back in with one minute to go. Do you have any insight on why why you sat those two minute wars, two four minute wars? Um, you know, I don't have much insight to it. I trust uh, Steele. I trust his game plan a lot. And we've had a lot of success with um, in, in this winning streak where uh, the, the last lineup has been with Tyreek in there and some of the other guards are not necessarily going big for those last little bits just to uh, maintain a lead and be able to guard a lot of perimeters because it is, it is hard for other teams to guard us when we go big. Um, but it also poses some difficulty on defense. So I definitely trust Steele's game plan. And whether or not I always enjoy sitting like that, um, I, I enjoy winning more.